A watershed can be defined as the entire geographical area drained by a river and its tributaries. It is an area characterized by all runoff being conveyed to the same outlet. Welcome to the Chilkat Valley Watershed. We're going to talk briefly about the watershed concept and use the Chilkat Valley as an example. The entire landscape is composed of watersheds. A watershed is a basin, and the rim of the bowl, the edge of the basin, is the ridge line. All the water that falls in that bowl has to go somewhere. The question is, where does it go? Drop by drop, rain falls on the land and falls on the vegetation. Life-giving water drops to the ground and gathers in small streams. The streams flow downhill, but it's not only water that's traveling. As the water passes over the land, it moves nutrients and sediment with it so that the water that's flowing downstream is actually a solution of many chemicals. Small creeks join together into larger and larger water courses. And as the water moves, it carries more and more nutrients and sediment downstream with it. Finally, the water gathers in large rivers, the Chilkat, the Kalahini, the Sirku. The rich nutrient broth continues downstream, so the question arises, why isn't the land eventually leach free of nutrients? The answer, salmon. The Chilkat Valley watershed is blessed with runs of all five Pacific salmon, and these salmon form a nutrient conveyor belt moving upstream to replenish that which is washed downstream. The divide between watersheds is the ridge line. On either side of each of these divides are different watersheds with different identities. Topography determines the direction of flow of water, and the branching system of creeks, streams, and rivers is the transportation system of the watershed. Salmon traveling upstream on this transportation system of the watershed are the lifeblood of the ecology of these valleys. Our Pacific salmon travel out to the ocean as tiny fish and return as large fish. All the nutrients they gather in the ocean they bring with them as they travel upstream. And the brown bears seen here eating these salmon are a manifestation of that importation of ocean nutrients.
the fantastic density of predators we see in the Chilkat Valley, of bears and eagles, can only occur if this conveyor belt of salmon continues to bring nutrients from the ocean to the land. Every living creature is dependent on water. This fact ties us all together. The riches that bears, eagles, and humans share are part of the larger bounty of our watersheds. Every drop of water falling in these valleys add to our well-being.